the one thing I'd fight about The Lion King, and that passionate about it. And I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter, people. Clearly, you know. <laughs> the only fight I've ever had in my 25 years on this earth was when I was in Manchester. I was in a bar in Manchester. I made the fatal error of ordering a Smirnoff ice. <laughs> this guy came up to me, pushed me, called me a I called his bluff, kissed him on the lips, he broke my nose. <laughs> <laughs> only fight. Because po posh people aren't very good at fighting. Like, I'm not saying posh people shouldn't fight. No, no. Like, Posh people fighting, if you've ever been lucky enough to witness a posh fight, oh my God, it is the funniest thing you have ever seen in your life. <laughs> I saw one once when I was growing up in this quite rough pub near to where I live in Chelsea called the Goose and Labrador. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's a very rough area. And these two guys, it was like two rutting stags in red trousers, and they were like, fight. there was a proper like fight. Blah. And I heard the best thing I have ever heard shouted out during a pub fight. Because one of their mates that was watching on shouted out in the poshest voice you have ever heard, Go on, Monty! He's dishonoured you! <laughs> <laughs> You're having a pub fight, not a jewel! <laughs> That's the problem with the posh voice. It's got limitations. Can't sound scary with a voice like this. Can't sound sexy, all right? Now, I don't like talking in the bedroom. I think that sex should be a swift, silent, and clinical procedure at the best of times. <laughs> Whenever I do try and talk, it's always a disaster. I um, was... No, 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 I wasn't. No, I wasn't. This is very important. A bit of housekeeping again. Look, um, my girlfriend told me quite <laughs> clearly I'm only allowed to tell this next story on stage if I say that it happened to a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Wembley, everyone with me? All right? Let, let's do that one again. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> the other day, right, a friend of mine <laughs> was having sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> I was doing the sex. <laughs> That's her bum, not her head, sir. And then there. Stop it! Stop it! No, it was beautiful. I was having this. Stop it! I was, I was doing the sex. Okay. And it was that little postcoital moment of silence afterwards. You know, where someone has to say something. I heard myself saying the least sexy thing that has ever been said in a bedroom. It was like one of those slow motion moments where I couldn't cram the word back into my mouth. It was awful. I heard myself finishing, and as I came, I went, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> It's not the worst thing, it's not the worst thing, right? The worst thing, <laughs> the worst thing. Uh, I got this one mate, right, who's like a proper, like, geezer, he's like a proper, like, we lads on tour, called uh, Rory Haddon Payton. And <laughs> he's, he's a proper geezer, isn't he? He'll drink anything. <laughs> this one time, oh God, he downed an entire glass of red wine with fish. <laughs> YOLO! I, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> he got drunk. And as a joke <laughs> with his girlfriend, as he came, he went, Mmm, turn on. <laughs> Definitely worse. Definitely worse. <laughs> oh, I love telling that on stage and then looking around the crowd at all the blokes in this room and realising there is not a single man in this house this evening that will not consider saying that now. <laughs> but that makes sense tonight. <laughs> Other than maybe Stewie Potts over here, eh? <laughs> Doesn't want to wake her up. <laughs> In front of your father. Seriously, yeah, cover his ears. Eyes on you, pal. <laughs>